Hello, my lovely patrons. My name is Cole, and welcome to the Soothing Cove that is our gases. Today we're playing Mastro City Bakery, and what did we do last time, y'all? It's been a minute. <laughs> it's, it's always been a minute for me. <clears throat> Let's get started. Okay, I guess we're going over to wedding planning. I need some water. <clears throat> She brings up a college of photos. As you can see, nothing too complicated, my dear. Nothing too out of the ordinary. I feel like my dear girls will be a little, a little posh. It's okay. We're just gonna roll with it today. The cakes and the photos are all beautiful exercises in simplicity. You go. She pauses, lowers her face to yours, and speaks slowly. You're nervous. I'm not nervous? Yeah, a little bit. I am about to lie to someone who got instincts that can read me like a bug. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. Have you ever made a wedding cake before, Jay? I know I haven't, uh, Miss Melcap. Oh, God. I've been found out. No shit, bro. I just opened this shop. I just reopened the shop. Lie. Of course I have. Tons of them. Unfortunately not. Not necessary. Uh, I sure made a cake before. <laughs> let's keep it. Let's keep it blunt. Unfortunately, unfortunately not. You sigh. <sighs> no, I haven't made a wedding cake before. Melka smiles again. See, this is mama. This is auntie. You do just fine. Why making cakes is in your blood. Your aunt is a creative genius with the kitchen. I wish Auntie M and I were related by blood. Oh, whoa, oh Lord, wait. You groan, ugh. She was adopted, she was adopted. Inter interesting, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So her sister, who is your mama, gave birth to you, okay. Sipping this water like it's tea, like. <laughs> No matter, you will surely make a beautiful cake. She rests her chin on her pedophiles. And if you do not, then Sila will help, will she not? Yeah, she will. She won't let me mess up too bad. You pause. I don't think. She would indeed let you... Oh, she would indeed let you mess up badly. <laughs> but then she'll teach you where you went wrong so you can do it right. Right? Was she? Certainly. But the best way to learn is from mistakes, and the only way to get better is through practice. This is just making my own. Nah. Uh, you're right. You, ha you have to do difficult things to get better. Oh my gosh, stop telling me to go draw. Okay. It's hard. It's very hard. I'm very self-conscious. You're right. You have you have to do the you you have to do yeah you have to do we're emphasizing do you have to do the difficult things to get better okay exactly you can do it Sila will not let an inferior product leave the kitchen right I'm not about to have you live out this house though no, little no busted ass cake <laughs> she reaches out with a pedal pole taps you square in the chest with one of her claws and. Hmm, I probably read that a little bit different. Um, no but you. Your insides glow. What a pet talk, yes, mom. <laughs> um, the fact that she has such earnest faith in you is actually really encouraging, yes. Go get the money, go get the money. <laughs> How can she have such confidence in a total stranger? She's probably like this with everyone, but still. Okay. You nod dec decisively? Or, okay. 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 How hard can it be? That's the spirit. She nudges your shoulder encouragingly with the knuckle of one claw. Now, the wedding is in a week and a half. It's an evening ceremony. Can I hire you to stay and help with serving the cake and other desserts? Ooh. So you, so you get everyone's opinion on the cake. Extra coin, catering service, y'all. Sure, I haven't uh, been to a wedding in a long time. 
So you're the officiant and the planner? She puffs up she puffs up a little, clearly prideful in her, in her work. Indeed, I'm I'm a one stop shop. Go ahead. That's awesome. How long have you been doing this? She weighs one pedal pulp. Uh, I don't know anymore. A very long time. Long enough that I don't have to advertise. People just come to me to be married. Oh, okay. She settles back down, curling her massive legs back up. Okay, don't get mad at me. Right before I started recording, I killed the spider. They're just crawling up the wall, and I'm just like, my instincts activated. <laughs> I was like, no, not in my house. Like, bruh. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Cancel me, cancel me. How long have you uh, been baking? Here, sit, sit. She picks up her huge blanket and sets it down in front of her huge face. You sit on it with your legs, with your legs curled up pretzel style. You sink into the blanket almost like a beanbag chair. It's so huge and fluffy. Ooh. Ooh, sorry y'all, that y'all snuck up on me. Uh, no, only since I've come to Monster City. Oh? Yeah. I think when we met, I mentioned that I'd taken over the bakery? Yes, because your aunt went to travel, or wanted to travel. Huh. How did you know that? Do you know where she went? Do you know where she went? Do you know where she went? She told me she wanted to go to Bali, or perhaps Rome. Great, so I've heard the Arctic, Antarctic, Bale, or Rome. And of course she left no forwarding address. A most curious situation. I'm sure you'll hear from her soon enough. How are you finding the city? Or how are you finding the city, friendly? It's a swift subject change. You shrug it off. It's really friendly. I was expecting to feel scared and alone, and alone being the only human here. Girl. What do you feel, what do you feel instead? In general or right now? Let's start with general. I don't think I feel afraid. Like, if the options is have the people here make me feel afraid or welcomed, I'm going to pick welcome. That was the one time I got, I got ate up. I got ate up. I, not, not, in a, <laughs> not in a fun way. But, like, I died. <laughs> but that's, like, one out of the rest of the cast that I met. Like, come on now. But if this was, like, afraid, like, taking on a business, not by myself, because I have Cirilla, but, like, just assuming the role of this amazing business owner that everyone loved, that has made me nervous. We had that question already, so it's kind of like, eh. But I don't feel afraid. I feel welcomed by your people of Monster City. In general, I feel welcomed. I feel welcomed and safe. And how do you feel right now? You look up into her wide, shiny eyes, framed by soft, fuzzy lashes. There's like bursts of fear because like big, gigantic spider coming out of nowhere. Like, yeah, my heart has left my body. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, I just came back from a nap. Um, it's all right. I know that humans especially are frightened by my size and species. She speaks nervously. Oh. It's it's frightened but not scared or afraid or something. Like it's not it's 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 a temporary thing, not a status thing. Like we cool. I feel happy and confident because you believe I can do this job. I don't feel frightened frightened at all. It's like when it's like when a kid uh, discovers like a dragon, and this dragon is like, "Where's the shawl come from?" <laughs> and like immediately, basically adopts the child because he don't want the child to get hurt and stuff like that. And he try to bring him back to the human village, but the human village is like, "Oh, fiend dragon, get away from us!" And then it's just like uh, you take the child back away from them because like they try to take the child back because they just see dragon and they want to be racist. 
And so, he, so he takes care of the dragon. And it's like, sorry, I had to swallow. And it's like, like later on in the story, it's just like they just become really close. But if someone's gonna snitch and say, oh, he kept, he got this uh, kid captive and shit like that, that ain't the facts. This child left y'all because y'all ain't shit. That's the real truth. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, monsters are dope. Um, I don't feel fright frightened at all. I I'm glad. She seems to blush somehow. Yay! I guess not like that. No, no, Cap. Your, your mama don't 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 do it to me. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm taking up a good deal of your time. Might I help you back to the bakery? <gasps> oh, I would love to have a free ride. <laughs> oh, it's not dark yet. I can get there on my own. I don't need. No, not to chaperone you, to transport you. Let me show you. You hold, you hold all her pedophiles. That's what I thought. I was like, she's gonna transport me. Here, climb up. Well, with my dirty shoes, I've been walking around this forest. Like, girl. Are you sure? She wants you to climb onto her. Don't touch her eyes. Be careful. Ooh, ooh, Lord. I, okay, let me not take a nap anymore because that's the third yawn in this one video. <clears throat> it's not the small one. Uh, please allow me to take you home. It'll be a, uh, uh, it will, it would be, it'd be good to have exercise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, okay. You stand up and carefully step onto her pedal pump, and then you squeak as she effortlessly sweeps you up into the air like you weigh nothing, like a, like a ping pong ball. The little, you know, like the little arcade game where you, where it's like the little levers that you do to make the ball shoot up and stuff like that. Like, it's, it's like that. He's like, ping, <laughs> She places you on her back, right uh, right where her head meets her body. It's a huge area that you nestle down in her fur. And you nestle down in her fur. This is so cool. It is. Hold tight. You, you thread your hands through her soft fur as she... Gradually, oh goodness, today I'm, ooh, my bad, y'all. Carefully gets to her feet and lopes her way easily through the trees. Lopes? Okay. I know lope was a word. She's, she's so fast, but she's so smooth, like you're riding in a car. It's an incredible view. She walks above cars, four legs, on one side of the road, four on the other side. Nobody bats an eyelash. Seeing Malkath around the city, uh, around is totally normal. But I'm thinking, like, is she, she going to be able to help with our deliveries and stuff like that? I don't think she needs to do it. You know? I wouldn't expect it, because I know we got to get a car and a, and a license. Or well, maybe just a license. I don't know if the bakery itself has a car. She bounds so easily over smaller buildings and shorter trees. It's almost like you're flying. Giddy excitement escapes you in peals of giggles. She hears you and laughs along like you're something cute and silly. Hold on tight. She hops over a freeway. Your stomach flip-flops as she sails through the air. She lands easily cat she she lands easily cat-like and you flump back against her fur. Woohoo! <laughs> Was that alright? Yeah! It doesn't take her long for her to cover an immense amount of ground, and within what seems like moments, she's extended a leg for you to shimmy down, and there you are, standing in front of the bakery. I guess, I guess we'll pause here. You're breathless. Your leg's quaking. That was better than any roller coaster you ever been on. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Cole. This has been Orgasis. If you enjoyed this video, then let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscription. If you enjoyed this game and you would like to play it for yourself, you can do so via the link in the pinned comment. Um, I stream every Friday and Saturday starting at 7 p.m. East. Yeah, 7 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash Orgasis. The Maui Strong Fund charity is still running on that channel, so you can donate anytime that you want. I believe that's all I have to say, so I'll see you guys in the next video.